there's no solution. That's basically what it comes down to. You see, uh, you see what's going on with the elections. I mean, they've been talking about the elections for years. This same election, and yet, what results? You know, what's came come out of it? Really, no options for working people, for sufferers, for struggling people. Uh, so we keep trying. Addressing the issue where we there it is. are more part of the problem than we are the problem. Uh, 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 okay, so the first time this morning I waited for over 30 minutes. I believe it was close to 35 minutes. And I also had an additional phone uh, on, on hold as well. And now, uh, since I did get back into them, 10 minutes in. Is their equipment, right. is everything. It costs $1,000 to go through Chevron. I've done the research. I put so it out So this lady there. was That's speaking, I believe it's That's this lady that was speaking, was speaking at the beginning of the program. And she was um, telling us there was a police officer locally that had published a list of all the snitches. And she made it seem as if this was horrible. You know, that people's lives were now at risk. So basically what you're dealing with with this WMNF Sunday Forum and also the previous call is it's run by the cops. These people are police and they're promoting their agenda. And, <laughs> and they're, they're the ones that are discussing police abuse. So you can see where it goes. Um, I had a couple of simple comments on the program. First, that this cop is courageous for doing what he did. Um, the next thing I would mention was that at the beginning of the program, this host guy, Walter L. Smith II, had um, stated that, you know, if these cops are killing people on camera, you know, the, the fact that they were killing people on camera and that, you know, that was what had been discussed in the back room that, you know, this was the real problem, as he stated. But what they are diverting the attention from is the fact that if we have the number of murders that are being committed on camera and the police walking away um, from any... Um, responsibilities, uh, we must ask how many people are being killed unjustly off camera. I mean, that's the first simple conclusion one would come to. The other thing is that they have mentioned in the past that they don't believe we're in a police state. Well, what defines a police state? To most people, a police state is when you see a lot of police around you. But in actuality, a police state is when there are police around you that you don't see. So as you can see, it's gone silent now. This is usually when they're listening in. Um, they press the button and they listen in to what you're doing. Um, so as I mentioned, these people are the police. They're not the solution. They are the problem.